So once you've used your curve tool to accurately measure your material thickness, we'll use this piece here as an example. So this example piece measures at 0 0.199 inches. So we're gonna take this measurement and we're gonna adjust our drawing to fit that measurement. And this will allow us to get a perfect fit on our joints. So here we are in Affinity Designer. And in this example, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the size of a rectangle to fit another piece of material into and also how to adjust the size of the slots on the side of a project here to fit another piece of material into. So before we do anything, you wanna make sure you go to your file and document setup, and we wanna make sure our document units is in inches to match our curve tool. So once we confirm this is in inches, we're gonna click okay. Now let's take a look at this rectangle first. So we're gonna hold our control key and we're gonna use the scroll wheel on our mouse to zoom into. And we're just gonna click this rectangle to select it. And you can see down here at the bottom, we have this transform panel. And this is to transform the size of our rectangle that we have selected. If you don't see this panel, you can come up to view and then come down to studio and then go to here transform. And you could select that and that will open up this window here. So to use this, we want to first select our anchor point that we want this rectangle to stay. So in this case, we want it to stay in the center of this outer rectangle. So we're gonna lock our center position of this smaller rectangle in the center position there. So now when we adjust our size, it's going to anchor our center position where it's at right now. So in this case, we only want to adjust the height of the shape to fit our material. So we're gonna come down here where it says H for height. We're gonna select this. And before we adjust this, we also wanna make sure our aspect ratio is unlocked. So if you select this, right now it's locked. When you see these linked together like this, and if you click it again, now it's unlocked, where it allows you to adjust just one of these measurements. So now with this selected, we're gonna type in our measurement that we measured with our curve tool, which is 0 0.199, and click enter. And now you can see that adjusted the height of a rectangle. And that's exactly the material thickness that we measured. So now this would be adjusted perfectly to fit our material. So you can see rectangles are very easy to adjust. Let's take a look at our other slots. So we're gonna hold our control key and use our scroll wheel to zoom out and then zoom back in up here. Now these slots here require a little bit more work because they are attached to the outer shape. So what we have to do is first detach these from the outer shape, then we can adjust the size and then we have to reattach them to the outer shape. So to do this, we can select our shape here and you can see right now, we don't have much options here, but if you double click on the shape, you can see now we can have the option to edit the nodes on the endpoints of all of our lines here. So what we wanna do is click on the endpoint there to select that node. And then we wanna come up here and where it says action, we want to break the curve. So let's click that there. And now that broke this curve apart. So you can see now there's a break in the line. So I'm gonna do Control Z to undo that to bring it back. Now we're still broken apart there. So we're gonna do that on every corner here. So we're gonna select the corner and click Break Curve, and then do the same thing over here. Select each corner, click Break Curve, select that corner and Break Curve. Now all of our corners are broken apart. And now these two slots are detached from our outer shape there. And now we can adjust the size of these slots. So to do that, we want to exit our node editing mode. So we want to come up here to the move tool. So select that. And now we can select just these slots here. So I'm going to deselect out of our shapes here. And then I'm going to reselect our slots here. And you can see now these are disconnected from our outer shape there. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. So I'm gonna do Control Z to undo that move there. Now they are back where they were. So when we select one of these slots, we could do the same thing like we did with the rectangle. So in this case, we only want to adjust the height. So we're gonna come down here to the height and we're gonna type in 0 0.199 and click enter. And now that adjusted the slot height and we were still anchored in the center position. So that kept the slot at the center position there and adjusted the top and the bottom. If you wanted to keep the top of the slot where it's at, you wanna anchor off one of these top points. And then if you wanted to keep the slot at the bottom position here, you would anchor off one of the bottom points here. 
So that's all up to you where you want to anchor that. So I'm going to come over here and do the same thing to this slot. So we're going to select it. We're going to type in for our height 0 0.199 and click enter. And now both slots have been adjusted. Now we have to reconnect them back to the outer shape. So to do that, I'm going to hold my shift key and select all of the shapes here. And then I'm going to go back into our node editing mode. So I'm going to select our node tool. And now I'm going to hold my control key and zoom in to these areas on the corners here. And you can see we now have two nodes here, which would be the endpoints of both of these lines. And right now they are not touching. We could zoom in a little bit further. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there. So we want these to connect back together. So to do that, we're going to select the one from the outer shape and then click and drag it until it connects to the one on the slot. And now these two are touching, but they're still not connected. So in order to connect these, I'm just going to draw a box around these and I'm going to come up here to our action and we want to use this one here, join curves. So I'll click that and now you can see that join that together. So I'm going to hold my control key and I'm going to zoom out my scroll wheel. Come down here, we'll do the same thing. I'm going to hold my shift key to select this outer shape and I'm going to select this endpoint there. I'm going to click and drag to move it up put a box around both of these points and I'm going to come up here and click join curves and then scroll out with our scroll wheel and control key and now this side is all connected back together now we want to do the same thing on this side so I'm going to zoom in here hold our shift key select our slot and we're going to click and drag both of these points to touch and then we're going to draw a box around them and click join curves and do the same thing up here and join curves. And now I'm going to hold my control key and zoom out. And now our slots are adjusted to the size of our material that we measured with our curve tool and everything is joined back together. So now when you cut these with your laser, your piece of material should fit perfectly inside of these slots. Now let's take a look at how to add an additional slot just in case if you wanted to add any more. So to do that, we want to use our rectangle tool. So I'm going to come down here to our rectangle tool and I'm going to draw just a simple rectangle about the size that we want it. So I'm going to just draw about that size there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now to make this a perfect size, I'm going to come down to my transform panel and I'm going to enter the width and the height that I want it. So for width, let's say we wanted it three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to type in 0 0.75, click enter. And that's going to adjust the size of our slot. And now for the height, we want it the same as our material. So I'm going to type in 0 0.199 and click enter. And now this rectangle is adjusted to the exact size that we want our slot. So now we have to position this slot at the edge of our part here. So to do that, I'm going to come up here back to our move tool. And with this rectangle still selected, I'm going to hold shift and select our outer shape. And now both objects are selected. Now we want to come up here to our alignment. So select that and we want to align horizontally and we want to align to the right. So click that and that's going to move that rectangle to the right edge of our part. And if you wanted to do that on the left, just do the align left. So you could do either or as well as you can do the top and the bottom down here in the vertical section. So once we do this alignment, we can click out of that to exit. Now if we zoom in here, you can see we also have radius corners on this rectangle. Now you may not want that, so we can select that, come up to our stroke, and down here where it says join, right now we have selected round join. If you want it square corners, we want to do a miter join. So select that, and now we have nice square corners. So now we are ready to connect this rectangle to our outer shape. So to do that, it's very easy. We're going to select just our rectangle, and we're going to take the edge that's touching the shape and we want to extend that past the shape. doesn't matter how far, just as long as it's going past. And now we're going to hold our shift key and select our outer shape there. So now we have both the rectangle of our slot selected as well as the outer shape there. And now we just want to come up here and click this button here where it says subtract. So once we click that, you can see now that automatically erased the overlap there and joined the slot to our outer shape. Now we zoom out here 
And now you can see we just added that slot there. And now our material should fit perfectly inside of all these slots that we adjusted.